Welcome to the Archie Adventures Project. I'm Justine Benanti. And I'm Katie Paul. And this is what we're digging into this week. So clearly we're very fond users of social media, but what we're more fond of is the fact that it can actually be used as a really efficient tool. Not just for anthropological analysis and some of the work that I do, but also for monitoring and understanding the scope of major disasters. For instance, right now in Australia, because it's cyclone season, emergency management organizations are actually using the geo-mapping link to Twitter and Instagram in order to get a better scope of what's happening on the ground and more efficiently allocate the resources. And this is nothing new. We know that examples in Haiti during the earthquake and the tsunami in Japan, social media users were geotagging and using Skype for aid to come in to people who were not able to be located. So why, does this why is this relevant to us? Well, in my own research, I've actually used a lot of social media and, and media to analyze patterns on what's been happening with Egypt's antiquities on the ground. Now, this may not seem like something that's very relevant, but actually Egypt is one of the most well-connected countries in the Middle East, and it's only increased since the revolution. So over a period of three years, I gathered reports from media and social media to understand what types of patterns were happening with regard to destruction of archaeological sites. And some really interesting patterns revealed themselves. You're going to have to keep an eye out for my paper to see what the results of those were, because I'm not going to give them away just yet. Archaeologists but, and academics never read <laughs> their research before it's published. <laughs> but social media proved to be a really efficient tool. Now, obviously, this is contingent on the country's connectivity. Egypt tends to be more connected to them than some other countries in the Arab world. Obviously, in Africa, only certain countries have connectivity. Japan tends to be very connected, and so does Australia. Right, and it also depends on the country you're in and the limited nature of the governments want you to have with their social media. But the point is, social media is used for more than just selfies. And depending on the culture you're in, it can be used as simply a political tool and nothing else. A lot of people during the Arab Spring use it for politics, primarily. And one of the things that we wanted to get across is the fact that it can be used for some really incredible educational purposes. Now, of course, people are doing interesting things with social media with education, but using social media as a tool right. for analysis is something that's really just getting into being explored. And obviously, it has a lot of efficient applications, especially when you look at disaster management. Right. Well, actually, that's all the time that we have for today. I'm Justine Benanti. And I'm Katie Paul. Thanks for getting dirty with us. There we go. How long was that? <laughs>